your life work. Milk has been called mankind's most nearly perfect food. And its use by human beings dates back several thousand years before the birth of Christ. In one way or another, millions of people depend upon the dairy industry partly or entirely for their living. There are over 26 million milk cows in the United States, a great many of them on dairy farms located near large cities where there's a ready sale for fluid milk. Although the dairy farmer is a specialist in producing and caring for cows from which he gets his income, he is also a diversified farmer since he usually grows crops and livestock. He also must spend a considerable amount of his time in mixing feeds for cows must be fed scientifically to produce profitably. The grain raised on the farm is in many cases ground and mixed with manufactured feeds which the farmer buys. There are jobs selling manufactured livestock feeds for which experience working on a farm is helpful as it is for selling farm machinery and other equipment. The modern dairy farm with its buildings and equipment can be compared with a factory. The heart of activity in this milk factory is the dairy barn. Sanitation and cleanliness are the watchwords of the dairy industry. And to be successful, a dairy farmer must be careful about his personal cleanliness as well as that of his barns and equipment. The cows too must be cleaned before they're milked. Seven days a week, the farmer has to get up early to do the morning milking and then milk the cows again at night usually after a long day spent doing other work. On many farms, the milking is done with a milking machine, which is a pump creating a low vacuum. The vacuum draws the milk off into an airtight container. With such equipment, a large number of cows can be milked in a short time. After each cow is milked, the milk is removed at once to the milk house or a separate milk room. It is strained carefully to further ensure its freedom from foreign material. At every step in milk handling, it must be protected for purity. One of the important tasks of the dairy farmer is to clean and sterilize thoroughly all milking machine and milk house equipment. This work is tedious and tiresome, but it cannot be neglected. Every so often, trained inspectors from the government and from the dairy company which buys the milk visit the dairy farm. They closely inspect all equipment, as well as the dairy barn and milk house, to make sure it meets high standards of sanitation, and then turn in a report to the dairy company or government agency. In some localities, a cow tester with special training visits different farms once a month to weigh and test the milk from each cow. If a cow is not making a profit, she then can be culled out of the herd. On large dairy farms, a herdsman may be in direct charge of the herd and responsible for increasing its production through scientific care and feeding. Keeping records is a very important part of successful dairy farming. This may be done by the owner or be a part of the work of a hired superintendent or farm manager whose duty it is on the larger farms 
to improve the herd by raising the best stock possible through scientific feeding and by eliminating the unprofitable cows. If you like animals, there are jobs on dairy farms where you can learn the business. To advance to the job of farm manager, some training in agricultural college is necessary. Such training will also be helpful if someday you can obtain the capital to go into dairy farming for yourself. Some vocational high schools have courses in dairy farming, and the agricultural county agent in your community can give you information about it. From the farm, milk is transported either first to country receiving plants or directly to the bottling plant, swiftly by rail and truck. The cars and trucks are really large sanitary thermos bottles on wheels. In the plant, the milk is pasteurized in special equipment, which heats it to a certain temperature for a definite period of time to destroy or render harmless all disease-producing organisms which may be present in the milk. Trained men check the control dials of the pasteurizers carefully, for exactness in time and temperature is very important. After pasteurization, the milk is quickly cooled and then bottled and capped. Although this is done on automatic machines, the operation is carefully checked by trained workers, and other skilled workmen keep the equipment in good operating condition. Other workers clean the equipment thoroughly every time after it's used, for on the dairy plant, like on the dairy farm, cleanliness and sanitation are all important. Before they're filled, milk bottles are washed and sterilized in scientifically designed bottle washers. They then pass in front of sharp-eyed inspectors before they go on to be filled with milk. As you can see for yourself, a modern dairy plant must have a great amount of special equipment, although many plants, of course, are not as large as this one. There are jobs working for dairy equipment manufacturers designing, producing, and selling this equipment. Although in the modern dairy plant or creamery, butter is churned in large mechanical churns, the butter maker must know how to turn out a product of good flavor and high quality. He may acquire this knowledge on the job from an experienced worker, in a regular college dairy course, or in one of the short courses in butter making and milk plant operation, which are given in a number of the agricultural colleges and universities. In the same way, cheese making can be learned for scientific methods have improved and standardized the making of cheese, and a knowledge of chemistry and bacteriology is essential in this work. Both in dairy plants and ice cream plants, a great variety of types and flavors of ice cream are manufactured. Here again, a knowledge of scientific principles is necessary. The ice cream maker must supervise the preparation and proportions of the ingredients in order to ensure the production of ice cream of good flavor, creamy body, and smooth texture. Many dairies employ laboratory workers trained in chemistry, bacteriology, and other sciences who test the milk and other dairy products to ensure their purity, flavor, and general high quality. These are very desirable jobs and require a considerable amount of college background because of the scientific training that is necessary. Similar qualifications are necessary for state and federal government positions which involve field work and research. If you are interested in the dairy industry as your life work, it will be well for you to talk with the owner or manager of your local dairy company. You will also get some helpful information at the local dairy council in your community. The dairy industry promises opportunity for steady employment to qualified workers. People will always consume milk and milk products.
for they form the basis of healthful meals. Nutritional experts tell us that every adult needs two or more glasses of milk a day in some form. And children and young people need from three to four or more glasses a day. No one ever outgrows the need for milk. This is an indication that the dairy industry is extremely stable and that it will be worth your while to consider it carefully for job possibilities.